Hey guys, Mac here. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to retouch your product photos. Here I've got a Zoom H4n, which I took using my Nikon D5000. Alright, let's get started. I'm going to start here by duplicating this layer, and I'm going to do that by pressing Command J. Okay. So now I'm going to set the blending mode to soft light. Okay. Already you can see um, that the color is just popped up. Okay. Let's do a before and after now. Okay. Excellent. All right. So now what we're going to do is we're going to merge these two layers by pressing Command E. Right. Okay. We're going to duplicate the layer again by pressing Command J. Now we're going to make a quick selection. So I'm going to come up here to the um, quick selection tool and just do a quick selection. Okay, now that we have our selection, uh, I'm going to I'm going to go to select modify and feather this selection by about say 10 pixels and then I'm going to click okay. All right, brilliant. So um what I'm going to do now is I need to have this selection on its own layer, so I'm just going to press Command Command J. Right, so we've got this on its own layer now. Okay, here we can see it. The next stage now is to um, go to this background background copy, um, instead a new layer, and then fill that with white. So I'm just going to press D, and then press Command Backspace. So what we're going to do now is uh, we're going to add a shadow. So I'm going to duplicate. I'm going to duplicate this layer by pressing Command J. Okay. So um, I'm going to press Command T to transform this, and I'm just going to bring this all the way down here, like so. Just gonna press enter on that, and then I'm gonna go here to filter blur Gaussian blur. Okay, I think I think 25 will do. So I'm just gonna commit by pressing OK. So um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bring this shadow below the layer like so okay if if the shadow is a bit too harsh what you can do is you can go to the opacity and just lower that opacity okay i'm going to create a new layer and then go to the um, marquee marquee tool and just create a selection like so okay so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to come here to the foreground color and then and then just pick a color from from that like so and then I'm gonna select the background color which is kind of like a lighter shade of that and then select OK I'm gonna come here to the gradient tool and then just fill that in like so okay brilliant so I'm going to deselect the selection by pressing, oh actually before we do that we need to go to select, modify and feather. Again we're going to do say 10 pixels and then click OK. Alright brilliant. So I'm going to deselect this by pressing Command D. Right, now that we have this, um, this color here for the screen I'm going to press Command T to transform. And uh, I'm going to try and match the size of the screen with my new selection. So I'm going to do that by pressing Command down, so I can so I can move these corners like so. Okay.
All right, I'm going to commit to that by pressing enter. And I'm going to further blur that by going to filter, Gaussian blur. Okay, that's much better. All right, so what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to name these layers. So I'm going to start with this one and say, that's the screen. And here I'm going to lower the, the opacity to about, say, 75%. Okay, that'll do. All right, so um, next what we need to do now is to make some, uh, to put some highlights on some of the areas to make them really pop out. So uh, to achieve this, we need to use the Dorian Burn tool. So we're going to come here and select the Burn tool. Okay, so I'm going to start with this top area here. So I'm just going to start by just adding the highlights in, like so. Sorry, the shadows. So you can see how already we're starting to see like the colors, I mean the, the highlights really pop out. So really this is what we're looking for at this stage. Okay, so I'm gonna just carry on. Okay, make sure you don't do too much you don't do this too much because we do want to keep some of the areas light. Okay. So I'm gonna come over to this area. And just work on these buttons here. Okay. Right. Um, Let's do a before and after and see um, how far we've gone so far. Okay, that's the before, that's an after. So already you can see uh, we've got some of the areas really popping out and especially here with the silver, with the silver mics, it, they really pop out. Okay, we're almost done. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to use the dodge tool, which is the opposite of the, uh, the burn. So again, I'm going to bring some light into these areas here. Like so. So whenever you make a mistake, all you have to do is just to press Command Z to undo. I'm just going to go back to the burn tool and Okay. Okay, I think I'm happy with that. So, let's do a before and after. So, what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to group all these layers. So what I did actually is I clicked the background copy and then I held down the shift key to select all those layers and then you need to press command G to group them. Right so this is what we had before and this is after the retouching. Okay um, so we've come to the end of this tutorial. I hope you guys um, have learned something from this. Um, please visit graphicstv.com. That's G-R-A-F-X-T-V.com for more articles and other extra stuff that don't make it to the YouTube channel. Don't forget to leave a comment or some feedback. So bye for now and see you in the next episode.